When assessing motor function, even in a routine well visit examination, there are a few approaches that one can take. We know that boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy have difficulty with or are completely unable to jump. It can be very helpful to simply ask a boy to stand up in the exam room and jump, even if they are a little reluctant. Try and jump with them so that you both are doing something a little bit silly. What you're looking for is the presence of air beneath their feet. What is common for children who ultimately are diagnosed with Duchenne muscular dystrophy is that they bend their knees and they may even get up a little bit on their toes, but they don't really leave the ground. Many times parents have noticed this as well, but sometimes they may not necessarily comment on it. Another helpful tool that can be utilized to assess for weakness is having a patient sit on the ground in the clinical exam room. Invite the patient to sit on the floor with you. And once you're both seated, say, now let's stand up. Slowly start to get up so they understand that it's not a race. In a boy with Duchenne muscular dystrophy, you see that they tend to turn 180 degrees, widen their base, and may push off of one or both knees in order to stand upright. Once the patient has been examined, going from sitting to standing, and then jumping in place, ask the patient to run down the hall or simply walk down the hall. What we may find in a boy with Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a little bit of an exaggerated lumbar lordosis in their posture. As they walk, they can have some waddling at the hips. And if you ask them to go fast, you may see some excessive arm swing as if to propel them forward a little faster. Some DMD boys can run, but some of them will have such notable difficulty that it becomes more of a fast walk. Difficulty with any of these tasks should prompt a referral for further evaluation with a neurologist or a neuromuscular specialist.